Hello YouTube, uh, following my video on how to temporarily pause OTA updates for BYD Auto 3 and all applicable BYD vehicles, I've decided to make this video now uh, which explains how you can actually manually downgrade and upgrade your BYD Android multimedia software. Um, to be clear, this video is just, it's only about the Android portion, so it's not for the ECU, not for the BMS, not for the other uh, cars, system, firmware, slash softwares. This is just for your Android multimedia system. Um, benefits of this procedure include, I don't know, uh, regaining the side loading function, um, wireless ADB, USB debugging, etc., etc. Um, but uh, it's mostly, generally, just a educational video, just to teach you how you can go up and down the versions, just in case you know you've installed the latest version and you don't like it, and you want to roll and you want to roll back. Um, BYD doesn't make it easy, but it is possible. So, uh, first we need to go over three broad categories um, of what we need. First is the USB in a FAT32 format for Windows, and the correct folder structure inside the USB, and the correct software package for your car. Um, I'll go into detail on all of these uh, as we move on down the document. So first, uh, definitely we go through all the risks, right? Um, the best case scenario is that uh, the software installs without issue, the car reboots, and you're good to go. Uh, worst case, the, tar the car will tell you that the software you've loaded onto the USB is actually incompatible, and it won't ever proceed to do anything, it won't try to install it, it won't do anything, so it'll run its you know, appropriate checks. Um, it is extremely unlikely for the car to first start the upgrade slash downgrade process and then freeze on you. Um, I've done it like a couple dozen times now, and no issues each time, okay? And now keep in mind, all right, this is a do at your own risk situation. There are so many BYD vehicles out there. BYD Auto 3, Dolphin, Seal, the soon to be released Seal U, the Song L maybe, and whatever other future BYD models. So my video, like I can't possibly provide support for every single vehicle out there. I'm only doing this for my BYD Auto 3. And so this, educational guide is generally for that, but it should work for all other cars with available compatible software. Okay, so this is an educational video only, and you should not attempt any of this should you have any doubts on these mechanisms. If you don't know what certain acronyms, if you don't know how certain things work, please do not try this. Okay, I'm not responsible for any issues that may arise because of you failing to follow my instructions. You've been warned. Let's get started. First step is the USB with the correct format. So on Windows, you want to be using FAT32 or XFAT. I'll be using XFAT. And for Mac OS, you want to be using MS-DOS brackets FAT format here. And then the scheme should be the master boot record, okay? Second is you need the right folder structure. So the spelling is incredibly important. Do not mess up, m mess up <laughs> any spelling, sorry. In the root directory of your USB, you want to create a folder called BYD update package, and inside that folder you would make a folder called MSM8953 underscore 64, and the inside of this folder is where you put the final update file. So how do we find this? First, you need to understand the compatible software package for your car. Through research and online various, various online car forums, I've learned that if your system version here, this number, if it starts with a 13.1.22, you probably have a BYD M Plus or some other domestic Chinese vehicle. Now, I understand some South American countries, some African countries actually, I know customers and owners have imported Chinese vehicles to those countries, so that, that's why you might see 13.1.22. For me, I have a BYD Atto 3, which is a produced right-hand drive designed to, to be exported car. I'll have a 13.1.32, as you can see here. And this also applies to the BYD Dolphin. And the BYD Seal that's been designed and produced to be exported will have 13.1.33, same as the BYD Han. Okay. Now, how do you get to this software detail page? Inside the car, go to the Settings app, then go to the System Settings at the top right, Software, Software Version, View, and the System Version. Let's see here. So, I'll just show you that now. Whoops. So, Settings. Top right, system settings, software, software details, sorry, and then view. All right, 
that's how you get your version. So it's software detail. Cool. Um, now, where can I find these compatible software packages? Well, that's a good question. You can either try looking for it yourself on the internet. There are various depositories, repositories, sorry, not depositories, out there that host these files. Um, I've also downloaded some of the popular ones onto my iCloud Drive share. I've got shares one to seven. Um, it's in the paste bin link in the description of this video. So go into that paste bin link and then the link to these seven drives will be there. Um, you'll need an Apple ID to access my cloud share because I use iCloud. Um, that's what I pay for. That's what I really have. It's convenient for me. And I'm, yeah, this, this is what I choose to use. Uh, making an Apple ID account is free. So if you really want access to my files, I encourage you to make an account. And I'll do a quick demonstration on how this works. So open file explorer. I'm going to plug in my USB here. Boom. Okay. Uh, just gonna list. I'll start from scratch so it makes it easy. Format. Okay. Start. Formatted. Cool. So we're going to public share one. BUID Adder 3 software. It's not really just for Adder 3, it's for a lot of BUIDs, right? And then I'm going to go to OTA. Now remember my car is 13.1.32, so I'll use this. And then I'm going, I'm currently on 13.1.32.2307, which is this. I'm currently on this one. So you can go in here, update full. Uh, oh, I should not have it extracted that. Make it a compress file. So basically, you want to find the file. Oh, don't do that one. You want to find the zip folder. All right, and then inside the zip folder, it should be meta-inf config and a bunch of these files. Metadata with an update.zip. So if your main zip folder has all these in it, then you've got the right file. Okay, then what you need to do is just duplicate that and then rename it update full. That's what you do. Okay, so find the right folder, find what you need, and then update full. Okay, um, so I'll just use my v1.6 as an example. So here we go, update full. So copy that, All right, into a USB. First folder is byd update software. Did I do it right? BYD update package, sorry, update package. So let me copy that. BYD update package. Inside of that, you make MSM8953 underscore 64. Just compare to make sure it's correct. MSM8953 underscore 64, perfect. In here, we shall paste the other file. Whoops, I've already copied something else, that's why. So if I go back to here, 1.6, I'll just cut this, make it here, make it simple. Um, cool, update full, back to my drive, and in here. All right, so that's the structure, okay? So USB drive, BYD update package, MSM8953 underscore 64, and then your correct zip folder renamed to update full dot zip. Cool. Now that we've we've finished, um, I'm gonna go hop in the car now and show you guys what you should expect um, if you've done everything right up until this point. Okay, so we're now in the car. Got your USB. Right. And then just plug it into the USB A port here, which is this one. Don't use that one, that one has no data. Gotta use this one. Give me a second while I plug it in. Boom. It's in now. See? So if you have the folder structure correct and you've got the right update file, it should give you this warning, IVR upgrade, data formatting is required and system data will be cleared. So it'll reset everything 
and it will upgrade um, if you've got the wrong file incompatible file whatever um, it'll give you an error instead and yeah this is basically it thanks for watching hey there um, editing zinger coming in here uh, I just want to note that you'll see this screen even if you have the incompatible software package it's just that when you press OK, uh, the car will tell you that the multimedia software, I forgot the exact words, but you should still see this even if you have the inc incompatible file. But when you press OK or you want to try to proceed, the car will tell you, whoa, hold on, you're using the wrong file for this particular car. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. See ya.